Right, hello. Today I'm going to be doing a tier list for the Project Winter roles. I've got um, one of my friends here. His name is Solf. Say hi. Hello, uh, this, is, this is Solf. Uh, he's a Twitch streamer and I will put his link in the description. Make sure you go check him out, follow him. Uh, so, so we've both done these tier, this tier list separately. Um, right, so let's start off. Like, Where did you put Detective? Uh, I put Detective in E tier. Uh, mainly because uh, the detective, while I enjoy playing detective, to me it's a fun role to play. It is the anti-identity thief role. If you get that has has the role been stolen, mm -hmm. the only problem with it is that it requires a dead body, and uh, what else? And for you to actually get the right info. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same. Like it's good, but I find it really boring to play um, because yeah. you have to wait for someone to die. And if there's if there's no dead bodies, you're just a plain innocent. And seeing seeing as you're good, you can't kill someone and to get to get a dead body. You have to let wait for someone else to kill. You know, it's just yes. it just doesn't work. So you either yeah. need the traitors to kill or to find like a traitor yeah, and then that, kill them. That's gonna go in E tier, right? So next up is the identity thief. This is this is a big um, this is a big debate because some people hate him and some people love him. Um, where have you put him? Uh, I put Identity Thief in D because, like the detective, it requires a dead body. But the Identity Thief can change games, so I feel like that, like the I, you could you could put the Identity Thief in like C or B. But yeah, so I put the ID Thief in C just because the fact that he's fun. He's very fun to play. Because yes, you have like the chance of killing everybody, no matter who they are. Right, the innocent. I. I'm just bad to it. Boring. No, no, no contest there. It's it's just, it's, no, it's not interesting it's to play. Boring. Right, the normal traitor. I put uh, this in B because you know, just it's fun to kill people. I I've put it in D just as like a baseline for the uh for yeah, the next actually, like traitors. I feel like it would be D because like or maybe C. I think C is the better option because it's still fun. Yeah. And uh, it's it's not lower than the ID thief, but um. Then again, it's not higher. I think. Uh, I, I like I like judging roles based on like how I mean, hands how, on they are, how good or just they like are. how many how many times you would use the ability. See, and the tra with traders, you're going to use it a lot. Yeah, you're you're using it a lot, and it's it changes the game because it's the whole point of the game, and it's just fun, you know. It's fun. Yeah, and what it's, you kill people, it's helpful to the traitor team. I and guess. while the uh, the base trader isn't bad, it also just like it is also outclassed by most of the other trader roles. Actually, that makes sense. I except think... except trader hacker, trader hacker, fuck yeah. trader hacker. I, I, th I <laughs> think I think it goes in D. Let's just put it in D. There we go. Right, defector. Um, I think we both know easy where this S tier. Goes. Easy <laughs> I think S tier. This both. This is our first S tier. In my um, opinion. My my favorite role to play in the game it's so fun playing the vector it's it's basically a, a, a traitor not a traitor no it is a traitor but it's good because you get the crates and you get the energy drinks so you're buffed you can help the trait you can help not the traitors help the help the innocent to win because you're buffed as hell you get all the yes. crossbows and you can like annoy traitors by taking their stuff it's just s tier <laughs> yes it is also the most hands-on role in the game, other exactly. than the traders. It's very easy to use. Um, it's just like, right, your role is open crate. Do it. There's there's no yes. like, side things. Yeah, uh, uh, easy ass. Right. Yeah. So we have the innocent hacker, and I think he's pretty good. Not the best, but I think yeah. he's pretty good. So I put him in B. What yeah, I, I also put him in B because like when I've played innocent hacker. I've just been able to. I've been able to solo both objectives. It's it's, it's good. good on the innocent side. You can also get a couple gun parts on the side, yeah. but it isn't like well, we'll the get, greatest. We'll get to the trade a bit. Right next up, we have the hunter. See, I put the hunter in S tier just because of uh, like the free truth serum and the tracks. I just think the hunter's a cool role, but I I just I think the hunter's pretty cool. I think based on like practicality wise and just like you also said to base it off of how fun it is so like i have i have a bit of fun while playing the hunter but 
Considering the whole point of Blackout is that you can be turned into a traitor at any time and he can't to be a hunter I guess so. in, a, <laughs> in an entire game mode based on turning into traitors <laughs> and you can't be turned into a traitor, it becomes a massive like Actually, 1v7 yeah, if it really comes that, to it. That makes sense. This thing is I like all the Blackout games I've played, I've, the, I, we usually just kill the traitor straight away or so I haven't actually had that yet, but I guess what you, I get what you mean. So I, 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 where did you put it again? Uh, I put him in D, but maybe C. he'd probably be putting like yeah, like C or B. Right. Okay. So we have the the innocent medic, and see, I put this in um, C tier, but I feel like it should go a bit higher. But uh, I yeah, C tier. Maybe because I I I was playing it the other day, um, and the fact that you can like the clutches you can get with the innocent if like the traitor's got everyone knocked down and you just pop in there and revive everybody it can completely turn the tide of the battle and save the game but then again it's the most extremely situational apart from probably detective it's like yeah, it, everyone has to be knocked for it to be like the best role in the game so actually, it also takes a part of your uh, permanent health to use the ability but being able to see uh, other people's health and comment is invaluable so you can know like yes. when to rush it is very good and so I yeah and no, I think innocent medic should go see. Yeah. Right. So the medium. This is a very interesting role, and I put it in B tier because I haven't actually had much interaction with ghosts when I'm using it. But uh, where did you put it? I put it in uh, S tier uh, because the medium can kind of be broken if you can ask the ghosts. <laughs> Where where stuff is? That's actually true. Yeah, that that that's that's just an that's an easy ass. That's an easy. Ass. Yes, like like you could just ask. Okay, so who killed you? And then they would circle around. You <laughs> killed you. Yeah. And you can ask. Hey, who did actually, you kill? If they don't answer that, then you can just call them out for being the traitor. There. <laughs> that's funny. Right. So or if also... they say that they killed the traitor. But then, then... <laughs> but then again, in in that in that in that game mode, people don't die as often because. Like, if you have a demon, they'll just get converted rather than die. And then the whisperer, whisperer really kind of tr tries to convert you rather than kill you. I, I, I kill as whisperer just because if, like, yeah. if somebody knows I'm traitor, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill them if yeah, they're not even sense. close. Right, so Padre, I put him in A tier because giving someone a massive buff is very good, very, in very cool idea. It's like, you're not getting a buff yourself, but you're helping someone else. But then again, you could buff the trader, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, that I've I've had it I've had it change games. Like when I when I played the hunter one time, I uh, I got in a win a one v two with the trader, and I almost won that one v two. Yeah, it's it's very very good. I think definitely an A tier. Yeah. Right. So it also if you put it on the demon, you get like a or if you put it on the demon or whisper, you get, it gets like what a seventy five percent. Or something. Well, if the it's demon huge. kills the padre and then like uses him, that the demon's not going to kill the padre. I mean, like, I mean, convert him. That's why men. You know, <laughs> converting then, yeah. Right. So we got innocent scientist, and I put the innocent F. scientist at bad because he's just... F. I but, hate yeah, innocent F. scientist. He's just. But I have to say, it is a, at least a step above the uh, the normal okay. innocent. It, like, it, yeah, you, definitely. You at least have something to do. You still have. So yeah, that's that's true. Um, right, soldier. I put the soldier in B tier because having an explosive crossbow on um on innocent side is very good, very good, and usually wins against traitors. And if you have that chance, you've won the game almost. If you have not someone who knows how to use it, so that's why I put him in B because if you if you get the armory, then you're good. I I put the soldier in F, like the same as like the scientist, just because. It, the soldier's main gimmick is that it can open the armory, which is something that also that the traders can do. So if the traders can just like trick somebody into thinking that they're the soldier, when you're the soldier, then you can just open the armory. Actually, that's true. And then kill them inside, which has yes. almost happened to me once. But I managed to overpower the traitor. Um, I mean, I've I've tried I've tried doing that, but I, I wasn't juiced up at all. I'd say, so it was, I'd it was say, kind of I'd say part. the soldiers better than the scientist it, it's it you still like the scientist doesn't really help innocence yes, even if you revive because the whole point of innocence is being able to communicate that's not really the point of traitors but like being able to communicate 
with the innocence is like everything. And if you if you get revived, you you basically just you know you, you're useless. But yeah, I mean, uh, explosive crossbow against traders can win even if they're buffed up. So, <laughs> that is true. Explosive crossbow is overpowered. I I would say E or D. Uh, probably probably D. Yeah, we'll put it in D. Right. Yeah. We're getting we're back onto the the um, traders. We got demon. Uh, I put demon in A. Yeah, I would I would say oh I put him in S just because you know like if you just if people were down and like you get everyone against each other you can just win the whole game by converting people it's a very good role but I would say A actually because it's not defect to level. I would yeah, say. I put, I put him in A because like a lot of the drawbacks of the of the demon is that if the demon dies then everybody else dies. So, you should focus on, like, at least, like, getting one person yeah. or something. Just, like, picking them off. And then using that one person to come with you so you can get more kills. So the more kills you get, the more converts you get. Yeah, that's true. I think A. a yeah, definitely A. Right. Yeah, but the thing that holds it back, like, unlike the Whisper, is that it doesn't get the, the red radio, so you'd have to use the normal radio. <laughs> and if the Innocents are on the normal radio and you're using it for traitor stuff, then uh, <laughs> you might that's get called out for it. Right, so, yeah, that's true. That's a bit of a drawback. Right, now And it have... also makes it harder to coordinate. That's true. We have Traitor Hacker, which, I mean, Traitor Hacker's, like, worse than the traitor normal traitor because like I just put it in d because it still acts the same way as normal I mean, traitor so. it just you can has you can, a bad ability you can inadvertently help the traitors using it though right let's just put it in d so the next one we have yeah. is the traitor medic which i i put in s i just put that in s just because like in combat the power to see someone's health is a lot better but traitors are doing a lot more combat than normal medics so like a traitor that can see the health of others not its ability so much but if you can see the health being able to have that combat info and advantage is a lot better so i, I put the the traitor medic in uh, in c but it could easily be like b or a because uh i've already said this but being able to see other people's health is yeah. invaluable and it has helped me discern whether somebody should rush or sh or to just like stay back I think B. I think B because it's. I don't think it overpowers the demon, but it's very good. Yeah. Right. The traitor scientist. I put this in S. A, but I guess S is like. Let's just hear your argument. Like, why is this? Being able to bring somebody back as a traitor is in the normal game mode is really good. And if there is a and if there is an identity thief in takes uh let's say you have a dead trader they take your trader partner uh they take their role mm -hmm. you become you have the half of the lobby as traders uh, yeah, oh, exactly. there would be three people as trader but i can see the drawbacks like you have to open truth serum but yeah, to me is... it's really fun because of the risk of the truth serum i guess so you have to open the truth serum but then yeah you get like an extra traitor which a 3v you get a teammate if, if these traders like have the energy drinks there they're broke they're dead the, the, the innocents yes are dead. the thing is because most innocents aren't expecting a third trader so whenever like i'm getting attacked by two i'm like okay so no one else is it and then if there if there's like a revived person it's just like whoa okay it's, yes you just see it's like it's very surprising and usually results in a trader win so yeah i guess s tier it is no in, in the normal game mode it's s tier in uh in blackout it would probably be like B tier or something because it's just not useful. Right, so I put the whisper in F just because. Right, hear me out. It takes so long to convert someone. Like when I've the three times I played Whisperer, I've never actually managed to convert someone because I usually just end up like they end up completing the thing. Even if I focus all the things on one person, I still just never end up managing to do it. And then they get suspicious of me like following this one random person. It's just like, you know what, it's, it's so much worse than Demon, I would say, but like, you put it in, uh... Wait. I put it in A next to Demon because... Wait, uh, wait, wait you it, cut out? Cut out, say that again. I put it in uh, in A tier next to the Demon because, uh... The Whisperer gets the, uh, gets the red radio. 
Okay. I That's guess something so. that the demon doesn't. And also, so you need you need to focus on breaking the herbs and berries because they're mm. they they give your ability really oh. fast. Oh, I completely forgot. And you don't about that. you don't focus on uh, on wooden rocks because if somebody sees you breaking wooden rocks and you say that you're hunter or padre. And you're still doing it even after you said you got your ability, you're, you're just you're just gonna get sussed out. That's true. But if you break the berries and herbs under the guise of, oh, it's my bonus objective, oh, I'm pretty low, oh, my food's getting low, you can continuously do that. Like, I, I've gotten somebody in like two minutes just, just by breaking the herbs and berries. I guess so. I, guess, I, I forgot that again. Yeah, no, Alright, I'd say, I wouldn't say it's better so, than demon, I'd say probably B tier. But there is also, uh, what is it? You can get multiple people at once without having to- You also them. don't have to down anybody. Yeah, that's what. You do not have to reveal that you are a traitor to somebody. And you can just hold F on them. And boom, they are a traitor. Okay, yeah, do you know what? I, you've convinced me. We're going to go A. So we have the Yeti now. What do you think the Yeti? See, I, in the, like, in the, like, th about 25 games I've played the Blackout, I haven't got Yeti once. So, I put it in E, because I don't know what it is. Uh, I put Yeti in C, because it is the ultimate, like, true neutral role. I guess so. I d Unlike I mean Identity Thief, it doesn't need a dead person to, uh, to choose a side. It can just choose the side. Or if the Yeti really wants to, it can just switch back to the other side if they're about to escape. Yeah. Like, it's gotten to the point where, like, I've just said, I've said straight to the Yeti, if they are about to escape and you, uh, and we are not winning, then I will let you escape because you have been on my side. You deserve to win. Mm -hmm. The only problem with the Yeti is that you need to get your bonus objective done. Right. Uh, so I guess where do you put it? C. Right. There we go. Yeah, I put it in C. Do you, you want to do the outro? Uh. Well, follow my Twitch. Uh, do it now. I, I need like four or five more for uh, for affiliate like followers. Other than that, I just need viewers. Please watch my streams. I'm I'm very I'm very lonely. No, I, just, need, I, just, I just need people, please. Uh, we just need an exit line. Just just say something random, and then it's just going to end. Okay, bye. So, subscribe to Dylan Cooney. Uh, do it now. Or yeah. uh, or uh, the demon will, uh, will convert everybody except you, and you'll die. <laughs>